Welcome back to the Golf Club at Eagle Point Studios here on this Friday, the 13th, baby. Is it Tyler's birthday? Tyler Harris joins us from Hoosiers for Good, Indiana's NIL official consortium. How are you, sir? Happy birthday. It's not your birthday. Well, it's not it's not my it's not my birthday, but um <laughs> no, I'm doing I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I can't complain. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of hard work up to this point on our end, and you know, we'll continue throughout the year. So been been fun. I, I want to start with football. I, I know that it's a love-hate relationship for Indiana fans with the football program. They love it because it's IU. They hate it because of the the churning. And my comment would be, you cannot focus on, for those that give on basketball or any other sport, without thinking about football for a couple reasons. A, Football is the engine that drives the athletic train at any and every school. And if you don't have a healthy football program, it is going to greatly affect your, your athletic program across the board. Um, and B, if you're going to complain about the football program, then give to football or for football or pr propose the, for football or something. It, it, it has to you have that it has to be that way it just does indiana is in a is the best conference in the country that just came even better and is going to be even more challenging to keep up because let me tell you washington oregon ucla and and usc they're going to come in guns loaded um so you, you it's indiana can't afford to get pushed down any further but it, it's just a a mindset that I think for who's your fans, they've got to get out of. Yeah, I agree. I mean, obviously <clears throat> everybody loves basketball. Um, and, you know, with, with Woody being back, you know, the, the excitement there, um, you know, hopefully that excitement, you know, will continue. But I've always said, you know, if you really care about an athletic department and about a school, the biggest way to make that impact is help football go. Um, because football going, football being great, um, or even good in, in this case, um, makes the athletic department go and impacts way more um, sport programs, the school in general, than um, a good any other program. Absolutely, and and then and then there's the other athletic programs as well that that uh, are, are involved. And then basketball, of course, is what people think of when they think of Indiana. And Indiana is in the mix for Woody has done, as you mentioned, an incredible job uh, across the board. Uh, he has been great to deal with from a media standpoint. It, I, I put out a, I think, a, oh, this was on a, a board, so it was kind of a private thing last night. But I, uh, I, I said that, you know, covering Woody has been great from the jump. He's open, honest, professional, and unfiltered. And all those things are great. I, I said it's, you know, it's unlike the previous four years. It's like, it, that was like living on the dark side of the moon. Um, and so now we're in the light, but he he fosters that. And then, of course, his recruiting efforts have shown to be very fruitful. Of course, he's got some big, some big decisions coming up. Um, and... and I know people think that, well, they need to do more here or do more of that. The die is cast. It, it, when you get to this point, these when they're, these guys are in decision mode, the die is cast from, from an NIL standpoint, uh, my belief is that die is already cast. Now it's just up to the coaches to sell it or, or not because uh, Liam McNeely is announcing on Sunday. I, I expect Indiana to land him, and a lot of people do. I think it would be a shock if they don't. But his decision is not going to be uh, swayed either way by the NIL. Is, he already knows what that is. Um, I think it's the same with Boogie Fland. Uh, that die is cast. Now, Derek Queen, who is one of the other big guy, big recruits, he has another visit. And, of course, Maryland's going to do whatever it is they do. Um, but Woody, and Woody may come back with some conversations. But from an NIL standpoint, I'm thinking that die is cast. 
And so that's, it, it, that's solid, and they know what that is. I, am I close to that? Well, you know, as I, much as you can speak to it. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I would say, you know, I, I don't, I don't know, you know, what what the conversations are like at other schools, and and you know, I'm not in the room when um, our coaches are talking to um, any recruits, um, <clears throat> but you, you hope all that work and all those relationships that you built, there's a certain trust factor that um, comes into play at this point in the at this stage in the uh, recruiting cycle. Um, and, and I think if you're IU, you got to feel pretty darn good at where you're at. Here's the exciting part. We weren't in these conversations three years ago. We're back in them. You know, Woody's brought a breath of fresh air back. To the and he's program. already won one with McKenzie and Baco against Kansas. Yeah. And, you know, a, a year later, we're in a conversation, final stages with the three of them. I mean, Again, this is something we couldn't say we were we were doing three years ago, and um, you know it's exciting to be back where we're at. And I'm I'm going to make sure the people understand as well. The coaches have no involvement with NIL, and if you need any more proof to that, go back. We played this clip yesterday, and I, John, I don't know if you have it, um, but the NIL deal that Malik Renu has, which is separate from Hoosiers for Good, I think. Uh, it's with Big Woods. He's got a burger named after him. He had no idea. He's like, what? He got a burger named after him. Where was it? Was this? He had, he was clueless, but why it was so damn funny is he's like, well, he's not supposed to be eating too many of them burgers. <laughs> is that a veggie burger? <laughs> you know, but they the have no exciting... involvement with NIL. Right. Right. Yeah. And, 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 and they shouldn't. Um, and, and that's, that's good. Um, you know, the most exciting thing, for me about Malik's burger was, you know, he's, he's a Hoosiers for good athlete and, and we partnered him with big brothers, big sisters. And, and I think it speaks to the young men. Woody is recruiting um, because we didn't direct him to do this, but he wanted a portion of his proceeds that he makes from that burger to go to his charity partner, big brothers, big sisters. And so you can see these athletes through this relationship and through Hoosiers for good start to become more community minded. That is that is that cannot be a better commercial advertisement for for what these guys do. What Anthony Leo did uh, a year ago, he paid off his sister's student loans. These guys are they're they're not, and that's another thing I want people to understand. They're, most of them are not these greedy guys. Uh, and Hoosiers for good is are you the only nil? sort of that does it the way you guys do you by partnering your athletes with these charitable organizations only, you know, we were the very first, um, I would say there's probably been 30 or so that have announced, um, their charitable model following our, our announcement last March. Um, but, but I, I, I firmly believe we're, we're one of the only, that have stayed true to the charitable uh, aspect of all of it. Um, and, and have said what, you know, everything we said we we've done. Um, and so in that, in that aspect, we're probably the only one, if I'm guessing that again, has, has stayed completely true to the, the charitable model that we, we adopted. Now, is that something that in the future, there's a possibility could be, altered not changed because i know that this is going to be uh, always probably the basis for it but to just to, to be able to expand it uh to go out uh in, in, to businesses uh in a different way yeah you know that's that's why we um <clears throat> we also uh started hoosiers connect um which which colin runs the day-to-day -day of of that um but a lot of the and if you don't know it's a guy named colin hartman uh he played for uh, some small college somewhere back in the day. Um, yeah, he played a played at a school in Indiana. Um, I think the somewhere in Bloomington. I think some yeah some uh, school. wasn't Bloomington <laughs> South, but uh, no, just kidding. Yeah, yeah, Har yeah, Colin Hartman, who runs it's it's a separate side, and and explain that side where the Hoosiers for good is mostly big corporate uh, donors. And 
charities that you guys work with, Hoosiers Connect is a, a much different, it is more business driven, more individual driven, if I understand it correctly. Yeah. So on Hoosiers for Good, um, as a 501c3, you know, we're, we're limited in, in what we can do. And, and that being, we can only work with other charities. We can't work with businesses. We can't do any of that. Um, but throughout a lot of my conversations with people who are interested in supporting, they had an interest in getting their business involved and maybe receiving some unique things in return. And so that's really why we started Hoosiers Connect. And Hoosiers Connect really involved into creating um, business relationships and, and corporate sponsorships with, with, uh, with businesses um, for the most part in Indiana um, where athletes can use their voice to really amplify that, that business's message. But then we also have members um, that receive unique benefits um, in return, whether it be at our top level sign ball, sign jerseys, um, unique experiences um, all the way down um, to, to other levels. So um, it's evolved a little bit, um, but, but yeah, that, that's the reason for, for two separate entities, just to make sure we, we can encompass as many people that want to support uh, as possible. Are there events that you guys have uh, at different times of the year? I know you travel uh, to go out places. Yeah. So we have, you know, summer, as you can imagine, is, is really the biggest event period. You know, that's when the athletes are most free. Um, you know, we don't like to bother them when they're in season. Um, you know, it's, you know, we're here to, here to support them and um, off the court and off the field um, ventures. Um, but, but when they're, when they're in season and they've already got class on top of that, we try to stay away from bothering them too much. Um, so summer happens to be our, our big period and we have multiple golf outings, um, multiple, events um and we'll we'll continue to add as we um as we can you know we're a small staff um but but yeah next summer i think we'll have quite a few events and golf outings um and and hopefully people you know will continue to want to support and want to be involved because you know it's a factor now um in in the decision making process for athletes um whether that is coming staying or just showing that you have opportunities at a school um and, and we use those events to be able to to do that and if you, uh, HoosiersConnect.com is where you can go, but that's a place where you can make a one-time or recurring contribution. Um, and there's no, I'm assuming there's no limit bottom or top. No, no, there's, there's not, um, there, there's, there's, yeah, one-time giving monthly giving, uh, membership levels, corporate sponsorship levels. Um, you know, it really tries to encompass anybody who has an interest level. Um, at whatever level that is to get involved. Um, and there's u- unique ways that we were able to reward people in return for, for supporting. Um, so yeah, any, any level, I would encourage people to take a look at the website um, because regardless of um, what you can give, um, it's all impactful, I promise you. Yeah, and with the Hoosier Connect side, uh, you have a, a corporate part. Is that... Uh, how that these businesses can actually connect directly with these athletes? Yeah, for, in large part, <clears throat> that's um, that's a way uh, for businesses to do it and get some unique stuff on top of that. So with our corporate sponsors, we, we really have them segmented where they'll get certain things in return, certain number of appearances, certain number of posts. They get to choose the athletes. Um, but then they also get some really cool stuff in return. Um, we do still facilitate one-off. Um, interested businesses that maybe not want to be a car- corporate sponsor at one of those levels that we have, but still have an interest in getting involved. We, we facilitate those opportunities as well. What uh, uh, do you do in season events uh, like during basketball season? <clears throat> yeah. So we'll, ha- we'll, um, we'll fly out to um, certain hot spots um, of, of um, areas that, that donors that we know will be there. Um, and we'll have events. So I, I anticipate we'll do one out in New York, um, potentially down in Atlanta. Um, we're going to do an event in Chicago at some point. So we'll, we'll, we'll fly out to those areas um, in conjunction with games because a lot of people are coming in for that. So it just works out really well. You can see if you're uh, looking at watching on uh, YouTube, you can see you can just go to HoosiersConnect.com or HoosiersForGood.com. Either will uh, get you to the right place. 
uh, I know that uh, there is a big announcement coming on Sunday, and uh, I'm not asking for a prediction, but Indiana has, has been in good shape. The importance of landing a guy like that, uh, it, it leads to other recruits sometimes, but it, it again, backs up what, what he has done with landing in Mackenzie Mbaco and Kelly Ware and those types of guys that shows that Indiana is in the game, whether you're talking about recruiting or NIL. As, as a matter of fact, in the research I, I've done, in the top 25 NIL uh, programs, if you will, they're 85 to 90% led by football-driven schools which would make sense, as I said, because football is the engine that drives a train. Kansas is different. They're probably the top NIL in basketball, but I believe Indiana is right there behind them. Shockingly, West Virginia is up there. Um, but, of course, Kentucky is there as well. But to be up that high in the top 25 as just a basketball-driven NIL, that takes a – ton of effort number one but it shows um how important it is but if if, if that could be spread out I, I think it shows that indiana could really do some good uh, on the football field yeah you know and we're you know basketball we we feel really good um where we're at um on on the basketball side um on, on the football side there you know continues to need need work but we are night and day difference from where we were this point last year. Um, and, and it, just a huge difference. Um, and so that as long as we can keep that going, um, we'll get there. We'll get there. I, I feel really good where we're at. 